I bought three different food processors at three different price points to find out which one is most worth your money. The Hamilton Beach is our cheapest at $20. The Ninja comes in at $37. And the KitchenAid, a whopping $60. I'll start with chopping up onions, but I'm definitely not gonna take it easy on the choppers. I'll also shred chicken breasts, make homemade whipped cream, and try to make hummus from scratch. So which one works the best and which one's the quickest? Let's find out. First up, level one, a quarter onion into each of them. Hopefully this avoids the crying too. Let's start with the Hamilton Beach. Gonna throw my quarter onion in there. Might be a little bit too big, but we'll find out. And hit that button, see how quick it chops this up. And here's the results. It definitely did struggle for about 15 seconds there and probably took about 30 or 40 seconds to chop this up. It got to the point where some of it is kind of like a liquid now and I wouldn't even consider this like a diced onion. Next up, the Ninja. Okay, so there's still a piece of it left in here, but it got to this point in less than two seconds. I'm gonna finish it up real quick though. And here's the results from the Ninja there. Again, I probably over chopped this one, but it was honestly less than five seconds total. The difference was pretty astonishing. I mean, this one was way, way faster. And last up, our KitchenAid. And the results from our KitchenAid. And honestly, this one was probably the best of the three. I think it chopped just as quickly as the Ninja, but didn't really kind of juice it all together like the other ones looked like. So far, the Hamilton Beach is way behind the other two, but let's make it a little bit harder, literally, and toss in a handful of almonds for level two. Handful of almonds into our KitchenAid first. Go in with two handfuls just to make sure it chops enough. And here this one goes. Here are the results of this one. It was super loud to chop these, but honestly pretty fast. This only was about five seconds and it does look like a perfect chop of those almonds. Next up, our Ninja. We got the almonds in there. Here we go. And looking at the Ninja, I feel like it has slightly more uniform pieces compared to our Hamilton Beach there. The Ninja did a slightly better job, maybe in a second or two faster, but honestly, it was pretty close time-wise. And last up, our KitchenAid. Let's see how this one does. The results from our KitchenAid, I will say this was probably the loudest of the three for some reason. And here's what that looks like inside of the KitchenAid there. They all took roughly the same amount of time and got roughly the same results this one. So we got to make the challenge a little bit harder. Tomato, tomato, however you pronounce it. I'm worried about the juices making a mess here. So let's see for level three. Did you catch the rhyme? <laughs> As always, starting with our cheapest one, the Hamilton Beach. And this one is honestly just creating a mess. It's basically creating a mix of tomato juice and unchopped tomatoes. I have to say this one failed on the tomatoes. Let's see if the Ninja can do any better. And the result of our Ninja, that one is just significantly better. I spun the Hamilton Beach for probably about 30 seconds too and had to pulse it. The Ninja was like four pulses to get the tomato to this state, which isn't perfect, but I would say honestly looks pretty good, relatively chopped up. And last up, the KitchenAid, our most expensive one. Let's see if it's worth it for tomatoes. And the results, this was probably the medium of the two. This one's a little bit more juiced up, does have some of that chopping from the tomato there, but took probably about 30 pulses or so to get to this spot instead of five from the Ninja. So from this test, the Ninja definitely took the lead so far. It did the best job with our tomatoes, but on to level four. Shredding chicken breasts by hand is something I do not want to have to do anymore. So let's see if the choppers are successful for level four. Did you like my rhyme? <laughs> Back to our cheap one. I'm throwing in about half of a chicken breast into here. So here's the results. I think I over shredded this trying to shred up all the chicken pieces that were in there and kind of made ground chicken, honestly, which it did shred into ground chicken really well, but not exactly what I was looking for. Potentially an user error though. It was kind of tough to actually get all the chicken to shred, but let's move on to our ninja. Half the chicken breast goes in. 
so again, this is just a couple pulses on the Ninja. We're still pretty close to what I would call more of like ground chicken here. However, it's definitely more in the shredded territory than our Hamilton Beach and also took significantly less time. And last up, our mighty KitchenAid. And I would say the KitchenAid probably did the best job with shredding our chicken here. Now, could that be overspinning from the Ninja on my fault? Probably, but it does look really good and took just a couple more spins than the Ninja did. This stuff sucks. So how quickly can a food processor make us homemade whipped cream? Level five, let's go. I'm gonna go in with a full cup of heavy whipping cream into each of these. Kind of feels like a lot. I've got a full cup of heavy whipping cream into all three of them. I'm gonna run them all at the same time and see which one makes our whipped cream the fastest. Sixty seconds are in. Let's do a check-in on this. Here's sixty seconds with the Hamilton Beach, and honestly, I think I passed whipped cream on this one, and we might be at butter with it already. Here's sixty seconds with our Ninja, and that one looks a little bit more like whipped cream like to me, which means it would actually be behind the Hamilton Beach kinda. And now for our Kitchen Aid, this looks very similar to the Ninja to me. Basically, no visual differences, maybe slightly liquidier. Honestly, I was expecting this to take like two or three minutes to make whipped cream in them, but in 60 seconds, all three are past where I would want them to be for the whipped cream. Our Hamilton Beach is actually mixed up more than any of the others. The KitchenAid has the best whipped cream consistency, but overall, all three of them did a really quick job at actually whipping up the heavy whipping cream. You can't sing with a mouthful of chickpeas, but you can hummus a tune. <laughs> Level six, it's hummus time. For this one, we're going with a can of chickpeas, which I've already drained out, about a sixth of a cup of the chickpea liquid, a quarter cup of our tahini, an eighth of a cup of olive oil, I'm using a garlic olive oil, a fully juiced lemon. You can throw in garlic too if you don't use garlic olive oil, but I'm just gonna stick with that. A small amount of cumin, about half a teaspoon, and about half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna repeat this now for all three of the food processors, and then we'll start them all and make some hummus. All of our ingredients are prepared in the three food processors. Let's make the hummus and see which one comes out with the best consistency. First up, our Hamilton Beach. This felt super rocky as I was holding down the button, but I think our hummus might be good. I'm checking on the consistency of it right now. And honestly, it looks a little bit liquidy. I don't know if that means it's over or under food processed, but it doesn't have the best looking consistency. I'm gonna do a quick taste test of it though. It's super grainy and doesn't feel like it's fully processed, so I'm gonna spin it for another 30 seconds or so. And I think that's about as smooth as it's gonna get. The consistency is definitely much better now and definitely looks like hummus. Let's taste it one more time. Honestly, it's really good. It's definitely not fully blended into a hummus. I can taste a little bit of chickpea kind of small chunks in it, but it did turn out really good. And it took probably about two minutes in this food processor. Let's move on to the Ninja and see how it compares. And here's the results of the Ninja. After maybe 20 to 30 seconds of spinning there, it looks just like the other one so far. Again, kind of a chunkier consistency, so maybe it needs a little longer too. Let's give it another 30 seconds or so. And this one looks like a way better hummus consistency than the first one. I mean, this looks like store-bought hummus to me from consistency, and even on the spoon there, it definitely looks like it. So how does the flavor compare? Not only is the consistency way smoother, but the ingredients kind of blended together much more to give me a way better flavor in this one. I mean, honestly, the flavors are night and day. Even if I mismeasured a little, this still blended into a way better hummus. And on to number three, our KitchenAid. Here we go. Here's one minute after blending with the KitchenAid and it looks like the starting stages of the other two where it still needs more time. So let's go a little bit longer. And here's two minutes of blending with our KitchenAid. Kind of looks like a hummus consistency again. I don't think I could really get this one as smooth as the Ninja. So this is what that one kind of looks like, thicker to me. But now for the taste test on this one. 
This level is not even close across the three processors. The Ninja absolutely blew away the competition here, and I feel like you can really feel the power of the Ninja when you are making a hummus like this. The other two blend really slowly compared to the Ninja, and you can really, really feel it. This made our hummus in about 30 to 45 seconds. The Hamilton Beach and KitchenAid didn't even get as smooth as the Ninja, and I blended them for about two to three minutes each. To me, the winner of these three is pretty obvious. The Ninja did did everything at an acceptable level. The Hamilton Beach struggled with some of the simple tasks and didn't make our hummus quite as smooth. And the KitchenAid also didn't perform as well as the Ninja and it's also almost twice the price. So our middle price point is our winner. While you use the food processors to cook from home, if you wanna improve your work from home desk, click right here to see me check out some more desk products.